Hi, I'm Joni Patree, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about if you have your moon in Leo. And Leo is a very strong fire sign. So we're going to get into the details of the three nakshatras held within this sign to look at specific details. But before I do, I always like to remind everyone to sign up for my free newsletter where you can get all of my predictions delivered to your email address. And while you're there at my website, check out my spiritual designer jewelry that I have designed myself from Satya, but it's Joni Patri's exclusive line of jewelry. Go to my website, check it all out, sign up for my newsletter, which is galacticcenter.org. So getting on with the sign of Leo. So if you have your moon sign in Leo, Boy, this means you are born a born leader. You are somebody that wants to lead, never follow. You're fiery, you're inspirational. It's all about this fire element and you're highly creative. You know, Leo is the fifth sign relative to the fifth house. So Leo is probably the most creative sign of the Zodiac. You wouldn't think that, you know, with all the connotations that's said about Leo being the lion, the king, the leader, but they're very, very creative in so many ways, artistically, and they can be entertainers, performers, singers, actors, artists of all kinds. They love to express. That's one thing about this sign. And it, when I think about Leo too, I think about the center of our solar system being ruled by the sun. Leo is ruled by the sun. So what does that tell you? Well, that they truly believe at some point or give the feeling that everything's re revolving around them, they're the center. But at the same time, you gotta love this sign because they are so much from the heart. Actually, the sun, which rules Leo, also rules the heart energy. And they have a warmth that people really love and are drawn to. And on top of the warmth, they, they have a sense of loyalty. So this is the truly loyal sign of the Zodiac. They stay true to their causes, their beliefs, and their friends. This is such a powerful sign for this. And I love Leo because Leo really cares about taking care of people. I mean, we think of Leo as being the self-centered egotist, but there is this loyalty and warmth and creativity that is a different, definitely there's a different side to this sign that has been not respected. So let's talk about the different nakshatras if you have your moon in Leo. Now, if your moon is in Leo from the first degree or zero degrees of Leo to 13 degrees, 20 minutes of Leo, then your moon sits in the nakshatra of the most powerful king, kingly ship, Maga. Maga is symbol. This nakshatra symbol is a throne. So it represents kingship, leadership. But what's very interesting about this nakshatra is it is ruled by K2. So therefore, those that have their moon in Maga, they started their whole life cycle out in K2, which is never an easy way to start life. It's like there's something within the family unit that the parents were struggling or there was something difficult that was going on and sometimes even health issues around that individual that's born with a moon in Maga, because that means you start your whole life cycles out in K2. Very difficult nakshatra to start out, with, out in, but it's kind of a good thing to get it over with. But still, it imprints on the soul a sense of difficulty and lack. But they regain power 
absolutely with this particular nakshatra because it does deal with kingship. Another thing I find that people that have this nakshatra strong, their moon in Maga, they have a, a reverence towards family uh, because it actually is the Petris, which deals with generations and family ancestry. It rules that part of the zodiac rules where they say the souls are waiting to reincarnate with their families. This is this portion of Maga. So it's deep with richness to heredity, family origin. People with this nakshatra love to find out their, their family line, where they came from, about their ancestors. They want to know everything. And the other aspect of this particular nakshatra is there is a deep yearning to complete a sense of not feeling whole and complete. And that's the K2 energy because there's something missing, which is eventually what they become aware of and boils down to their spiritual life. This can be a very spiritual nakshatra in placement to have your moon. And the other thing is remember there is this emotional yearning and feeling of connection, yearning to feel connected to others when your moon is in this nakshatra. So if your moon sits from 13 degrees 20 minutes of Leo to 26 degrees, 40 minutes of Leo, right smack dab in the fire sign of Leo in the middle, then you have your moon in the nakshatra Purva Thalguni. I happen to love this nakshatra, I must say, because that is where my moon is. And I have to say, I have always been in the creative arts. I was a studio art major for a time in in college, although I shifted to psychology. And I used to dance in a ballet company when I was a teenager. So there was always this need to express. I was an artist, I paint, I drew, I danced, all of the performing arts. And I have to say I'm even performing today, still doing a YouTube channel. That is part of the creative need to express oneself of Porva Falguni. Now the symbology of this nakshatra is a hammock and it deals with a sense of relaxation. And some even say that they can get very lazy at times, although I can't say that that's part of my, my um, deal, but it still is that they can get very complacent at times. It is a very prosperous nakshatra. It is a lucky fortunate nakshatra dealing with uh, blessings from the god Bhagya, which rules this nakshatra. And the other aspects of Purva Falguni is that it is ruled by Venus. So Venus is that need to create, to express, and even to have children and family. Because don't forget, the Falgunis, which Purva Falgunia means former uh, and it deals with the bed, the former legs, the forward part of the bed or the cot. And Uttara Falguni, which is the next nakshatra in Leo, deals with the back legs of the cot. And actually the bed can deal with relaxation, healing, but it also deals probably with the sense of marriage and relationship because these are the two marriage nakshatras. And you'll find that these two nakshatras have the need to be in a relationship and to be married. I have to say I've been married for 40 years and that's always been a major component of my life, relationships. So this Purva Falguni is about marriage and relationships. One more thing is this is one of the nakshatras that can deal with inheritances. There's actually two nakshatras that deal specifically with receiving inheritances from, from the family. It's Purva Falguni 
as well as Uttara Bhadrapada, which we haven't gotten into, which is in Pisces. But I must say that my family left me an inheritance as well. So that is part of Purva Valguni, ruled by Venus, which is creativity, which is art, which is design. A lot of performers and entertainers have this nakshatra extremely strong. You can go and look at Madonna, singers, all of these have Purva Falguni as the nakshatra of self-expression ruled by Venus. Now the next one, which is part of the sign of Leo, is Uttara Falguni, which sits from 26 degrees 40 minutes of Leo to the end of Leo. It actually extends on into Virgo, but from 2640 of Leo till 30 degrees of Leo, if your moon sits there, then you're going to know that your nakshatra is Uttara Falguni, which is the nakshatra that deals with friendship. And actually, this is the nakshatra that deals with uh, friends, connections, taking care of their friends, loyalty. This is a wonderful nakshatra. And yes, it deals with marriage as well. It's a marriage nakshatra. And I find that people with this nakshatra strong have the yearn to always be in a relationship, probably just like Purva Falguni. They are always questing for a relationship. They can't stand to not be in one. And consequently, they will be in a relationship regardless if it's good or bad. They will and they shouldn't, but they will settle sometimes. I've seen this with friends that have had this nakshatra very strong. Um, Ariman is the god that rules this nakshatra, and it's the god of friendship. So you got to know that this is all about friends and connections and loyalty. And I love this nakshatra, especially to have a friend. One of my dear friends of the past, this was where her moon was, and she was just the best friend uh, you could possibly have. So it deals with loyalty. It deals with connecting with people. And it deals with marriage and relationships. Now, going back to Purva Falguni, which is ruled by Venus, that means that people with Purva Falguni start their whole life in the Venus Mahadasha, which means they come into a life that's pretty privileged and nice and comfortable. Usually, all depends on where Venus is placed. But with this one, Uttara Falguni is ruled by the sun. And the sun can give strength of character and physical vitality. It's a strong nakshatra. But it's, it's somewhat different than Purva. Uttara has a little bit of a, a difference. It's more about others and taking care of others and friendships and that kind of loyalty. But if I could say the entire sign, if your moon sits in Leo, you are extraordinarily loyal, dependable, inspirational, and most of all, creative. That is how I see the moon being in Leo in all three of these beautiful nakshatras that your moon may be a part of. So with that, I'd like to close. If you would like more information on me, or you would like to check out my jewelry, sign up for my free newsletter, go to my website, galacticcenter.org. And don't forget if you want to study Vedic astrology with me, I have a new class starting up in January, semester one. Join our community of amazing astrologers. Go to universityofvedicastrology.com. Thank you.